I got a package. Hey, I'm Miles. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a Stormtrooper type video, and the reason it's been a while is because it's taken forever to get these parts. I ordered this in March. It's June now. Actually, almost July. Anyway, what's in here is this. Look how pretty it looks. These are the soft parts. It's the cummerbund area for the Scout Trooper. That's what the big missing piece is in the chest area. So today, I got it in. So, I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm going to open it, see what's in there, and see if I have to build anything. Because I think I'm going to have to build something. But I'm super excited because now that means with this here, the only piece we're missing are the boots. So I'm super close to getting this suit done, finally. But let's check it out. <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Oh, that unfolds. Okay, that looks like it goes around the waist. All right. This looks, this is the flak vest. Okay, cool. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so this is the flak vest. That goes over the jumpsuit. So, yeah, that gives us this cool texture right here in the shoulder area. That's dope. Okay, so then I can sew on some Velcro for this and attach the shoulders. That's cool. Okay, so this isn't part of the cummerbund. That's one less piece we need to worry about. These are the two pieces we need to worry about. This, what is this? This looks like one of the pouches. There's a Velcro on it. <clears throat> um, I wish I knew. Oh, and here is the cod piece. Okay. This looks like it has some tearaway Velcro. Perfect. Okay. So, in terms of building this thing, it looks pretty simple. Um, I don't have a reference photo, though. I'm going to throw a reference photo up on the screen right now of what it has to look like. But I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna give it a quick try and just see if I can figure it out. That's a terrible way to go about doing this, by the way. Never, never do what I just said. I think I got it though. So I think this guy attaches on like, okay, we already fucked up. Let me look at, let me look at an example real quick. Okay, we're sort of getting there. I got the two pouches on, I think. I ordered this, it didn't really come with any instructions because it's not from a uh, official site or anything. It's from a from an Etsy seller and he didn't really leave a diagram or any sort of instructions. Um, I'll leave his link below if you want to pick this up yourself. But as of now, we have to try to figure out how to put this together. It's only four pieces, so it shouldn't seem that complicated, but it's proving to be quite complicated. It's not really complicated, it's just, this goes in the front, the pouches lay here. I just can't figure out where the cod piece attaches. I'm probably gonna install some elastic to go around the shoulder area, but I can't figure out how to get this guy on there. There's Velcro on the back of this, and you would think it goes here, but it doesn't. Let me put it on. All right, I have an idea. This is basically just gonna be a video of you guys watching me struggle to put this thing together. What if I attached this to the back? So I did that. Wrap this guy around. Nice. That doesn't seem like it's the right way. Maybe a little lower? Okay, but now... How the... Wait. How the hell... Does this go on now? I don't know! I have an idea. I don't know if it's right. Did that work? That looks like it, it hangs up too much. It's not... It's not enough. Okay. I understand how this works now. I looked at a few reference pictures, and I looked at how the suit 
looks all together and I figured it out. This does not attach to this. So the two pouches attach onto the hook like this. This then wraps around me and closes at my back. That's one piece itself. I'm gonna need to sew in and install suspenders on this piece to go around my shoulders for it to hold up. That's one. This is separate. This, this piece of Velcro, what we thought attaches to this, doesn't attach to anything. It attaches to the flight suit. So I need to install Velcro on my flight suit to put that on there where I want it. And then this wraps around, hooks onto here. And what I might actually do is install elastic too on this to wrap around like a belt almost. So this is a lot more than just a simple put together. This has become a project, but I'm up for that challenge. I'm gonna do this project. So I need to get my flight suit and I need to figure out how to attach this in the smartest way possible because I don't know how to sew. So this will be interesting. Okay, so I kind of lucked out here. The flight suit that I got, which is the Dickies jumpsuit, I'll leave a link below, actually had Velcro already attached here and here for this elastic wraparound. So I heard I attached it onto there temporarily to see how it's gonna look. I'm gonna throw this flight suit on and then wrap this around to the other side and see if it actually works. This could have been a really good luck out if that actually worked out. All right, we're, we're figuring this out. Very slowly, we're figuring this out. So, oh, lighting. I'm not sure if you can see how well from this angle, but we got this attached. This guy, like we said, attaches to that Velcro on the, the jumpsuit itself. So that was cool. Um, that was a luck out. I didn't have to sew Velcro onto this. This, well, that's what it did. This, this, this piece, the cod piece attaches to this. This guy wraps around my body. And I'm not sure how well you can see what's going on back here. Oh, I totally fucked that up. Nice. One second, now, now I can see. This is why you always have a, a partner help you. But okay, yeah, that'll be fixed a little better later. Um, but this is just me doing it alone. So this is now attached uh, in the back. But what I did here, I'm gonna show you if I can get to it. So this was the problem is that this piece, this black piece and the cod piece, had to come up and attach to the top, and then it would block all of this this Velcro. So this guy had nowhere to attach to. So I had to put a Velcro on to the back of this cod piece, the back of that strap, so now it has something to attach to. Not sure how well you can actually see that. This is weird because I wanna preface, I'm wearing underwear, don't worry. This is just the way this fabric folds a little bit. It gives you a weird camel toe look. Um, not too sure. Uh, not too sure how I want to get around that because I'm not really liking how see how it does that weird crack thing I don't really know how to get around that I think once I install some suspenders it'll look a little better and maybe if I pull it a little tighter it might look a little better but there'll be a, a tactical belt over it anyway so there's not much to worry about it's just a bit you, you can see that weird this thing right here we don't really vibe with that. I'm not sure, like even if I pull it down, it's still there. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out about that. But very slowly but surely, we're figuring this thing out. Did I just fuck it up? Okay, so I wanna just highlight that piece I did earlier. So this piece wraps under my leg and attaches on to the back. It only had this piece of a lot, or Velcro. So once it hooked on, this entire back portion was blocking the elastic, or not the elastic, was blocking this. So there was nowhere for it to attach to. So that's why I, inst I installed this piece of Velcro for it to attach onto on the back side. Which again, it seems weird that, um, stuff's in the way. It seems weird that that wasn't specified and it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong but it fits better this way. So I'm not too sure what what the deal is there. I feel like that should have been specified in the instructions, but there were no instructions. So we're kind of figuring things out.
So thanks very much for watching, guys. I know this was kind of a shorter video. I just wanted to do a quick review and little build on this piece, just because I was super excited to get it in finally. Like I said, the last piece we need is now the boots. So aside from the boots, we just have a couple little nicks and tricks around the suit to make it all work together. To make it all flow and make it all actually stay on my body without ripping. And I can finally reveal the Scout Trooper that I've been building for years. This is crazy for me because back when I was like 15, I had dreamed about making this suit. And now here I am a few years later actually making it come to life and it's so close to being done. I'm super excited to show everyone this. I really hope this gets some traction. Not this video particularly, but just this suit. Just because of how much it actually means to me to build this thing. Um, I have a few extra things to do to this. I gotta add some elastic around here. I, I don't have any Velcro left, so gotta add some elastic here. A few different pieces to strap on, but it feels really good. I threw the belt on just so we can kind of get a view of how it's looking. But that's how this is looking so far. Um, I don't want to put the whole armor suit on right now because it's 100 degrees out and my armor is scattered all over my room because I was working on it last night. So. Maybe I'll do a, a suit up video sooner or later once I get those boots in and once I find the stupid chin strap. But anyway, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm so far. Peace.